This recording will cause a deep sense of relaxation and comfort. Do not listen to this recording whilst driving or whilst operating heavy machinery. Only listen when you can safely relax. Bring your full awareness to your own complete comfort. Hypnosis is not sleep, but is a deeply relaxing state. A state in which positive and lasting change can occur. So just find somewhere where you can just relax, somewhere where you won't be disturbed for the next little while. Make sure any electronic devices are on. Do not disturb. You can listen to this recording either sitting or lying down. It's entirely up to you how you choose to Go into trance. Now, let's take a moment to make yourself comfortable. Allow your eyes to close. With your eyes closed, you can really begin to relax and let go. And in a moment, I'm going to count to three. And on the number three, we can take a deep, relaxing breath in together. It's doing that now. One, two, three. And then just let it out. We can do that once more, but this time we can breathe deeply into our stomachs. Breathing really deeply into our stomachs on the number three now. One, two, three. And now, I'd like you to allow your attention to drift your eyes, it's your eyelids, and in a moment I'm going to start counting, from the number one to the number ten, with every number I count I'd like you to take a deep breath in and Open your eyes. And then, as you breathe out, I'd like you to just allow those eyes to close. And imagine the air releasing through tiny valves in your hands and feet. Just doing that now. One. Breathing in with your eyes open. And breathing out and allowing those eyes to close. Two. Breathing in, opening your eyes. And then breathing out and allowing those eyes to close. Three, breathing in, allowing those eyes to close as you breathe out, four, and breathe 
breathing out and just letting go. Bye. You may be finding it difficult to open those eyes as we come to the number six. And just breathing out and letting go even more deeply now. Seven, just trying to open those eyes just a little bit now. And breathing out and just beginning to feel more and more relaxed. Eight, breathing in. Breathing out and just relaxing. Letting go. Nine. Almost as though there's a tiny voice in the back of your head telling you to just relax. 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 And ten. And you may find those eyelids are completely relaxed now. You can just allow your attention to drift to those eyelids. Just imagine those eyelids so relaxed. So relaxed that they just won't work. It's almost as though they've been glued tight shut with the world's strongest super glue. When you're sure those eyelids are so relaxed that they just won't work, you can try to open them. You can stop trying allow that relaxation to spread, spread up into your forehead, just imagine your forehead relaxing, letting go, as that relaxation spreads down into your cheeks, and just imagine those cheeks relaxing, just completely relaxing and letting go. A relaxation just spreads down and down into your lips. You may want to part those lips slightly. Maybe take a breath out and sigh. Just let go more and more. Feeling more and more relaxed. More and more relaxed with every breath, every beat of your heart, becoming more and more relaxed. That relaxation spreads down into your neck. Maybe you can imagine those vertebrae in your neck just relaxing, loosening, letting go. That relaxation spreads round into your throat. You may find yourself getting the urge to swallow now. And that's okay. That relaxation flows down into your shoulders and from your shoulders down into your arms and all the way down into your hand. Or maybe you can imagine that relaxation flowing up 
from your hands up your arms and into your shoulders spreading down and down into your chest from your belly as your belly rises with every in-breath just let Go with every breath now. Just drifting deeper and deeper. Relaxing more and more. As those vertebrae just relax and let go. That relaxation just drifts down into your legs. You may want to tense those legs a little, and then let them go. And that letting go allows those legs to relax even more, becoming even more relaxed, even more comfortable. That relaxation spreads down your legs into your feet, and from your feet into your toes like a wave of relaxation flowing all the way down from the very top of your head all the way down to the very tips of your toes relaxing you more and more and as you relax I wonder if you can think about that, that old situation that's been causing you problems. That old situation where you used to blush. From the comfort of hypnosis, I wonder if you can get a sense of that now. Maybe you can just see yourself as though you're floating high above that old situation, that old problem, just watching yourself, how you used to behave in the, that old issue that you used to have with blushing. Just see yourself there now. And then just get a sense of drifting down, and drifting down into that you that's in that situation there. See through their eyes and hear what they hear. Feel what they feel. Maybe you can feel that warmth on your face. Just really picture that now. And as you picture that, I'd like you to take your left hand and make a fist. And as you tighten that fist, I'd like you to just imagine the heat and blood flowing from your face, down your neck, down that left arm to that fist you're making in your left hand and just make that fist tighter and tighter, tighter and tighter. Imagine, imagine that blushing, that blood, that heat, imagine it flowing down into that left hand. And as it flows down into that left hand, you can make that fist tighter and tighter. Tighter than you ever thought possible. When you've made that fist as tight as you possibly can, I'd like you to just allow your thumb to relax. Then allow your index finger to relax. Allow your middle finger to relax. Allow that next finger to relax. 
Just keep your pinky finger curled up in that fist. Keep your little finger curled up in that fist shape. And imagine, imagine all of that blood, all of that heat, all of that blushing flowing into that pinky finger. And just become aware of that pinky finger there now. Just get a sense of that pinky finger. And as you do that, I'd like you to imagine a power station. And standing outside that power station is an expert. And they've been called in because that power station is having a problem with some of the energy. Some of the energy isn't always going where it's needed. So they've called in an expert. And that expert is you. So I'd like, to, like you to see yourself outside that power station with a tool bag in your hand. And allow yourself to float down into that. That you that's standing in front of that power station. Really connect with that you in front of that power station. And there's no one else around and it's completely safe and it's, it's only you in that outside that power station. So now I'd like you to picture yourself entering into that power station. And exploring that power station for just a moment. And inside that power station, there's a flight of stairs. Those stairs are leading down and down. There's ten stairs. There's a handrail and you can picture yourself just standing safely at the top of those stairs, holding on to that handrail. And in a moment, I'm going to count from ten down to one. For every number I count, you can move one tenth of the way down those stairs. With every step you take, you're going to find yourself becoming more and more relaxed, more and more at ease. So I begin counting now. Ten, just taking those first steps now. Nine and eight, just relaxing more and more. Seven. The more you relax, the deeper you go, and the deeper you go, the more you relax. Six. It feels so good to just relax and let go. Five, just relaxing more and more. Four. Three, two, reaching the bottom now, almost at the bottom. One. And after one comes zero, and I wonder if you can imagine yourself drifting through the centre of that zero into a velvety soft nothing. Finding yourself at the bottom of those stairs. And in front of you is a, a control panel. I wonder if you can picture, see and imagine yourself approaching that control panel now. Putting your tool bag down and taking a screwdriver. 
love you back. Without a screwdriver, you can just start loosening the screws that are on the top of that control panel. Just taking those screws out one by one. Taking the lid off of that control panel. As you take the lid off that control panel, you can see that there's a couple of wires that aren't connected to anything. They're just loose, just not connected in any way. So you can take those two wires and you can see yourself just connecting them up. Just connecting those two wires together now. And then you can reach down into your bag and take some insulating tape out of your bag and connect those two wires and wrap that insulating tape around the connection. And now you've made that connection, you can allow your attention to drift back into that pinky finger. Just notice any sensations you feel there now. And that pinky finger can give you a signal. I don't know if it'll give you a twitch. Or maybe you'll experience some heat there. Some kind of sensation. And that sensation can let you know that the connection's been made properly. So just focus on that little finger now. Feel that sensation that you feel there. And from now on, whenever you're in that old situation, that situation where you used to blush, that little finger, that little pinky finger can just give you that sensation or that little twitch to know to let you know that it's it's working that that connection's been made and that old problem's been taken care of when you get that sensation in that little finger you can notice yourself Feeling incredibly calm and confident. Just incredibly calm and confident in that situation from now on. Feeling relaxed and calm and confident. Wonderful in every way. And so now I wonder if you can allow yourself to drift through space and time into the future, maybe three months from now, having gone three months without experiencing that old problem, just see yourself in that old situation and notice how you're acting differently now, notice how you're acting with confidence, feeling calm and confident. Wonderful and good in every way. Just notice that now. Notice what that little pinky finger's doing. And then you can just see yourself further in the future, maybe a year from now. Having gone a whole year, a whole 12 months without that old problem. Just see that future you in that situation. Seeing how you're behaving in that situation now. Allow yourself to drift down into that future you. 
See what they see. Feel what they feel. And hear what they hear. Maybe there's a certain smell. But that future you can smell in that old situation. Just allow yourself to connect with that future you know. Really connect with that future you. And in front of that future you is another even more confident even calmer, even happier, future version of you, maybe five years from now, having gone five complete years without that old problem. Now, pro old problem so far in the past now, is it's almost as though you've completely forgotten that it ever happened at all. So I'd like you to just get a sense of Connecting with that future you. See what they see, hear what they hear, and feel what they feel. Really take a moment to experience that now. As you experience that future you in that situation. I wonder if you can imagine new neural pathways being created in your brain. New neural pathways that are transforming, transforming you into that future you. And as those neural pathways are being created, I'd like you to allow your attention to just drift back to your eye. Just focus on those eyes now. Imagine those eyelids just so relaxed, so completely relaxed that they just won't work. It's almost as though they've been glued tight shut. Tight shut with the world's strongest super glue. In a moment, not yet, but in just a moment, I'd like you to try and open those eyes. As you try and open those eyes, find them just so relaxed that they just won't work. I'd like you to try and do that now. And then stop trying. And as those new neural pathways are being connected in your brain, only at a pace that feels comfortable to you, those eyelids are going to begin to loosen. As those eyelids begin to loosen, that can let you know that those changes have taken place. So I'd like you to allow that to happen now. Only at a pace that feels comfortable to you, those eyelids are going to begin to loosen. And those eyes are going to begin to open. You can come back to the present, noticing how good you feel, knowing that something has changed, that you have changed. 